Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are a subscriber. If you're not, I do hope you will subscribe to me uh, to see all new future videos. But today I'm going through how I made this um, notebook into my brand new planner for pre-planning um, from uh, July 2020 uh, through to... Um, actually, I don't know when it's going to go through to yet because I haven't finished making it. So I'm going to take you through the process um, of how I'm going to convert this just gem generic uh, paper chase, um, a Gen Z own notebook. This is the large size and turn it into my planner um, for me to plan the future with. So um, if you this is if you want to kind of see how I go about this process and maybe inspire you guys. Sorry, I just not my thing. Inspire you guys to do make one your own. Then stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, um, I just want to uh, do a quick run through about what the actual planner is like. So as you can see, it is a dot grid. It does have numbered pages. It's got an elastic. And it has a bookmark. Um, there is a full um, uh, review of this planner, of this notebook, sorry, on my channel. So I'll link it in the cards um, and in the description below so that you could find it. And you may have already seen me do some plan with me's for um, July. Uh, my current one is... Well, it's in August, so that helps. Um, is this one that I just posted on Sunday uh, using this kit from Planaface. Um, so I convert basically a blank notebook into a kind of vertical spread um, using a sticky kit. So um, you can see I do have some tabs that I've added on. Um, I actually got these tabs from Notes and Clips. They're really shiny gold foiled tabs. She does the most amazing foiled... Um, foiled items um, and she's just recently come out with light gold um, so these are light gold even though they do look a bit rosy but she loves rose gold so if you're a rose gold fan go to her shop because it's just stunning um, so yeah this is notes and clips so I've been using these um, to convert my planner uh, my notebook into a planner so <laughs> I keep calling it my planner because it is but anyway so I thought I would um, go through what I've done um, and actually walk you through what I'm actually going to turn any of these in. So it does have an index that I haven't filled in yet. And then I've already mapped out some ideas of what I want for these pages here using some pencil. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and set up um, the rest of my journal and then talk you through kind of what I've done, why I've done it, what I've been able to do because this is my own planner. I've been able to personalise it obviously to what I would want from a planner that I need to reference uh, uh kind of regularly and then yeah go through setting up the rest of the planner see how many months I can get in here and um, that was just a um, pen test that I did in the video and just see yeah um, uh, how many months I can get in and set up the rest of the pages and show you kind of through that so yeah I'm just gonna um, start at the very beginning um, I do have the index and then it goes straight into the the on the 2020-2021 tab, it's going to be a monthly layout that I'm going to draw. Then I'm going to have quarter three goals and quarter four goals. This is based on my power sheets that I do use. Then I've got um, 2021 goal ideas. Then I've got my productivity boot camp um, kind of tools. I'm going to put some stuff in there. Um, then I've got the block schedule, how it might work when I go back to work in September pain points so things that frustrate me uh, this is all to do with the productivity uh, boot camp which um is run by jordan page then i got my 2021 plans so anything in the future in 2021 and then i go into july and it's got a cover page and then into a monthly that i did draw out um i'm not too sure whether i want to use a kit for decorating this or whether i just want to go full bullet journal style on this i'm not sure um to be determined and then i go into my weeks so i've got Ah, first week of July, and then I've used this. So, ah, ah this is a station stickers kit, Harriet Wright Designs, Harriet Wright Designs, Harriet Wright Designs, um, and Planner Face. So, there's a mixture. So, some of the full boxes are Harriet Wright Designs, and some of them are Planner Face, and then a lot of the functional stickers are Planner Face. Wendy Prince. See, I've got a kit for my monthly in August, but I'm not sure. So then it has like a 
a notes page before the tab and then the tab goes on to the monthly which again I'm not sure what I'm going to do and they've got this one from Morello Potpourri and then this is the one that I recently just uploaded and this is Planner Face so yeah so I'm just going to speed you up as I draw out in pen what all of this is going to look like and um, what it's going to how I'm converting it from a notebook into my own planner so yeah I'm going to start the uh, kind of speed up through new. So the first thing that I set up is the um, year at a glance. This is where I'm going to have the mini calendars for the months. And um, I was unsure as to which pen to use to do this. Um, obviously, this is the uh, interesting thing you have to consider when you're creating your own planner. Um, I decided to go with my Simply Gilded gel pens, um, mostly because... Um, I love the rich dark cut black of the colour of the ink and also I have a load of them so it means that I um, don't have to worry about running out or trying to find an alternative or buying any new ones uh, because I get a new one every month because um, I'm subscribed and so um, I have plenty of these gel pens that I can use and bring in uh, you know, whenever I need to add any more pages. Um, I did use the pen test page just to work out um, and all of the pens kind of ghost quite badly really so um, this paper is quite thin so it didn't really make a difference which pen I chose so I chose uh, the Simply Gilded for the reasons I just said. So here I am drawing out the boxes. Um, I did pencil everything in before I decided I wanted tabs so you can see here I'm trying to shift over the boxes so that they kind of are a little bit more central now that there's been a, um, a slice taken out of the side and um, each page is trimmed to allow for tabs to be tucked inside the planner so I knew I wanted tabs but I was like well I don't want them on the edge of the page because they're going to stick out and then they're going to get damaged and I had a fair amount I had a lot of space to play with in terms of using a full a vertical sticker kit so I decided that I was going to trim the page. Um, I only need to take like one line of squares out plus the border. And so um, it wasn't like a huge amount, but it meant that I could use these tabs and have them safely tucked into my planner so that they don't kind of reduce the damage side of things. I did mess up once when trying to convert my pencils into the lines, and that's in August. But that is the only mistake I made on this whole page, which I'm pretty impressed with I mean um, I was having to draw out calendars and those can be notorious for slip ups but um, it actually yeah spoiler alert it came out pretty good so there are 12 boxes here one for each month from July 2020 and to June 2021 I decided just to keep it as these um, kind of 12 boxes because I wasn't sure how many months I could get into the full planner and there's always the capacity to add extra dates when I am um, do my refresh in January. So then I was um, just penciling in how the calendar was going to look in each of the larger boxes um, and so drawing a Monday through Sunday because I can I, I'm a Monday start on a calendar um, it's just what we have here in the UK what I've grown up with so what my brain is used to in terms of patterns and so um, I was able to obviously to create a Monday start calendar because this is my own planner and um, just doing some erasings here and um, I don't know what I was thinking when I first drew out these boxes because you can't fit six rows in there nice and neatly with each row um, kind of taking up two lines of squares so what I had to do was like each um, row of squares be um, each line of numbers sorry have one and a half squares it was a bit complicated. Basically, I had to do um, fill, use the gap for the first row, and then use the line, the dots of the line of dots. If that makes sense for the second line of numbers. Um, so yeah, uh, here I am just testing out um, a mild liner on the dried, um, simply gilded pen from the back of my pen test, just so I could see. Um, if there was any smearing so that if I wanted to use highlighters in my calendars at a future date then I don't have, have the risk of smearing and actually they didn't smear at all so once they're dry they're really kind of stable and so I then proceeded to um, 
write in all of my numbers and don't worry I, I, I edit most of this out <laughs> so you see me do July and then um, I think I start August and then you kind of skip to the end so I know right seeing the numbers being written out but I have to say no mistakes I'm very pleased until unless I find one in like that I've accidentally done but um we'll see the future will hold that <laughs> I did use a gray dual dual brush marker this was this is not a Tombow this is a freebie I got in a magazine um, and I just used the bullet tip to write in the Monday through Sunday so it's kind of like a gray as opposed to the black so there's a bit of differentiation there um and like I said, this is free in a magazine. I have no idea what the brand is. So, um, yeah, but if you want to, you know, if you've got the grey dual tip um, Tombow, then, you know, by all means, that will work. So then it's to adding the headers in and I decided to add a splash of colour here. Um, so I got out my mild liners and created like a six color rainbow and um, yeah just use that to kind of um, decorate the borders. I'm just doing some pencil erasings here because um, I've smeared some of my Simply Gilded pen when I was rubbing out um, and adding in the grey but actually the end of this pencil is it's a paper, paper chase mechanical pencil the rubber actually gets rid of some of the smear from the erasings. I think it's just because it's a really rough rubber and the Simply Gilded pen, when it smears, it's very kind of faint and you can actually rub out some of the smearings. So any kind of major offenders, you can kind of almost get um, get rid of. Not completely. It's I mean, it's still pencil, uh, a pencil eraser, but you can actually get rid of some of those smears, which is really, really awesome. So these are the colours that I chose. Um, I started off with the lemon yellow and then August and um, February are the apricot. Then it goes to coral pink. The um, I think it's called violet. I always think of it lilac, but it's violet. Then the cyan for November and then I think it's summer green for the December. So kind of like a pastel um, rainbow essentially um, using the Marmard liners and just added a bit of colour there and then for the top header the 2020 and 2021 I just used the brush end of that um, freebie um, brush marker um, just to add those in it's really really frayed and you see me use it throughout the rest and uh, yeah it doesn't really work as a brush marker anymore so once I've um, got rid of all of the pencil this takes a while this is my 2020 2021 calendar overview I will say, um, drawing this out in pen, so um, the pencils I did a while ago, but drawing it out in pen, adding all the dates, um, and then adding the bit of colour took about 25 minutes to complete this spread. Um, I just thought I'd let you know, um, kind of in, so that if, if you wanted to do this yourself, you could get a bit of time scale in there. But yeah, so it did take about, yeah, 20, 25 to 30 minutes to do this page. Um, doing the calendar always takes a long time. You've got lots of little tiny numbers that you need to write. Um, but yeah, so that's how long this little page spread took me to complete from pen to um, rubbing everything out. Next up is my goals page. So I have a box here for my quarter three goals and my quarter four goals. Um, quarter three for me really is almost, I'm like halfway through and I have done my power sheets three fresh as well. Um, so like I said in the intro, this is based off of my power sheets that I do use. Um, and I have six boxes because those are the six um, themed goals that I have. Um, and so... I'm just adjusting for the change in the page size. Again, like I did with the calendar. 
and this time I could be a little bit more generous and try and give maximum space to each of these boxes rather than worrying about it being like in a factor of seven for um, the calendar. And so, yeah, so I drew six boxes. Each of those represent a different goal. And so it's um, kind of like family and friends, work, teaching, uh, finances, house um, or home and those sort of things and so I'll fill in the details of those afterwards all I do for this page in this spread is just draw boxes for me to write in uh, the goals um, I will use my power sheets to refer to this and use the power sheet color coding um, to help with this too um, so yeah so sorry this next bit of video is just me drawing boxes um, <laughs> um, I do apologize to all of you who are freaking out at this point because I haven't used a ruler once um, um, so yeah I tend to do my boxes freehand um, it's just something I can do and actually I'm pretty bad at using a ruler with a pen because I'd end up smearing it really badly um, I don't know whether I've got the completely wrong technique or anything but I do like drawing um, boxes freehand especially in a dot grid you know you do get a lot of um, uh, guidance I suppose is the word to be able to do that there's my elbow there sorry um, and I got taught in primary school so when I was maybe nine or something how to draw a straight line um, I remember we were drawing my school and I was like I need a ruler to draw the roof it's a straight line and my art teacher was like no you don't actually I think she was a trainee she's doing a really good job and she was like, no, you don't. You can do it this way. And she showed me like using your wrist and your like the side of your hand to help steady your hand so that you can draw a straight line. And so, yeah, I just love drawing straight lines freehand. And I know that freaks a lot of people out. So I do apologize for that. Um, but yeah, there we go. Look at me with my technique and my drawing the straight of vertical line. So there, there we go. <laughs> my freehanded 12 boxes. Six for quarter three goals and six for quarter four goals. Yes, that does me. Um, and then erasing it. This, um, you see all of what I did on here and I've got it on two times speed. So um, it took double as long um, to draw in real life as it does um, that you're seeing here. So maybe, maybe 10 minutes it took me to draw these boxes um, and to recalibrate recalibrate them. So yeah, I use the brush pen again for the headers, um, but you can see like the brush tip, it, it's not good for focal, it's not good for calligraphy anymore. It's just too, too thick. Um, so yeah. This next page then is for my future goals for 2021 to get some ideas what I want to accomplish next year. I already have an idea for a fitness goal. Um, it's linked to what I'm currently doing um, now, which if you are following me on Instagram and check out my Insta stories, you may have an inkling of what that might be. Um, so I just thought originally I put boxes to kind of fit into categories but what I decided in the end is just to have a big space for me to like brainstorm and brain dump ideas for future goals so um, I just ended up rubbing out all of the boxes literally just drawing a box at the top um, adding the title and then yeah leaving the rest of the space completely blank um, so that I can just brainstorm ideas um, as they come to me so they don't have to be as structured and then when I go through the power sheets for 2021 I have a little bit of an idea of what sort of things I want to accomplish next year um, so yeah that's it really um, the next page then um, is my productivity um, boot camp notes section so um, my battery actually no my memory actually ran out when I was filming this so it stopped as I was drawing my little Mary Poppins, um, you'll see it at the end. Um, I come back to it. Um, I'm actually a little bit embarrassed about how bad this is, but um, I did sketch out an idea and I was going to use a reference photo, but I film when using my phone. And so therefore the reference photos are really awkward to find. And so I just decided to freeball it. 
and just draw my own Mary Poppins. So there she is with her carpet bag of tools. Um, so if you've done the productivity book camp, you ref uh, understand the reference. And if you haven't, I, um, you know, go check it out. See what you uh, see. Um, if it's something that you think it will be good for you, work for you. Um, Jordan Page runs uh, the boot camp. Um, I think it's one hundred and fifty dollars. Um, it's just a one-off cost. I did it in May when she was offering it for free. Um, and that's where I got all my idea, where I got all of my support and help. The next, uh, one of the other parts that she's um, uh, really champions is the block schedule. And I remember watching her video about this and thinking, actually, this doesn't apply to me. I'm a teacher. I have very set hours that I can do things. There's no way, like, there's no point in me having a block schedule. What, because, you know, my, my life's already in blocks and I work and I can't decide what I do in each of those times. It's just what needs to be done. And then um, I did the productivity boot camp and I was like, actually... I can make this work to my advantage and I can make this work for me. And so, yeah, so I'm going to create my own block schedules. And then the last little bit is just pain points. So this is things that are driving me mad that I really want to change. And then I can use all of the tools from the Mary Poppins page to help support me in that. And then the last thing that I've got here um, is uh, 2021 um, kind of events and dates and I can't remember what I call it now. I'm gonna work with her writing. 2021. Plans, there we go. <laughs> Plans in a planner, are you mad? Anyway, so that was a really simple page, just a box and a title. So now we come into the monthly spreads and I am an R a bit about this because I really wanted to, I love monthly sticker kits and I've got them for August. I haven't yet bought my September one. I haven't quite found one that I really love. And I'm two minds because I have a memory planner that I think would be really good to use the sticker kits in. Um, and then keeping these in in this planner kind of freehand and kind of more like a bullet journal style um i mean still in i'm in two minds so um i did end up drawing out the boxes for the months um for the days of the month and um this is me trying to map out august so i can get six rows and i do actually manage to fit it in it, they have six rows of nine boxes um with a box space in between um these boxes in this paper uh, chase book are actually 0.4 millimeter, uh, 0.4 centimeters, so four millimeters, and so you get a little bit more. You get a few more boxes for the height of the book than you would if there were five mil. Does that make sense? Um, should you? Um, and so we have nine box, nine boxes with a box in between, and it fits six rows and um, four rows on the uh, four rows on each page, so you can get eight. So you get a sidebar as well. So this is me mapping out August and I do use my Simply Gilded Pen to draw on the outline. I'm just going to leave you with um, this therapeutic um, drawing of boxes freehand uh, that I accomplish for July and for August. And yeah, I hope you enjoy some kind of relaxation. Maybe I'll put some music on the background <laughs> for me drawing out boxes for my monthly spreads.
So now I'm here just um, planning ahead um, for the different weeks and to find out where I need to add my tabs for the rest of the months of the year. So I just pulled out these post-it notes that I got from, well they're not post-it notes, sorry, sticky notes that I got from um, a paper gang subscription box and I just start adding the dates down for the begin the weeks that I want to plan. Um, I was, wasn't sure, um, oh no it's towards the end of September, sorry. So I this is what I do to trim the pages. So I take the first row of boxes plus the border it does get rid of the um, page numbers as well, which actually is an added bonus because I don't need the page numbers because I've got tabs. And so th this was would be the week for the last week in September for the September cover and the September monthly. So then I can need to add my tab onto this September cover page. So to do this, um, I trim the page as with all of them, every single page will be trimmed essentially. Then I line up my tabs. Um, they actually don't quite full fit um, in an equal number of tabs. So there's always a little gap, which I think is really nice. And then I take my tab and I line it up. So I use the line of the tab that's sticking out as the guide. So there'll be a bit of um, like extension on either side. And then I fold it over. These are sticky which makes it really easy. So I just fold it over, stick it over, and there's my tab all lined up and beautiful. So then I go through the rest of the weeks in September to work out where my October spread is going to be. Um, I use my hands to count the days of the week. So each day of each of my fingers, so the thumb is a Monday, and each of my fingers is the rest of the days. And then I have two in the middle of my palm for the weekend. Um, it's just how I count days. Um, <laughs> don't know how you would if you trying to work out a date of a particular day in the week um what you do but yeah that's <laughs> that's how I do it so the last week in September it's three days in September and four days in October and I was umming and ahhing about what to do with those but I realized that I mean September has four weeks already set up so do I have it as part of October or part of September I was really umming and ahhing about it um, I do end up putting it into October, so the first of the month is in the October, but um, that's more so because the majority of the days of that week are in October, um, and so that's how I like it. So if the week, you know, if the weekend's on the first and the second of the weekend, then I want to use that week in the last week of the month previous because there's only two days that are in the other month, and so yeah, so that's what I decided to do. Um, the majority of the uh, days in the month that it corresponds with. So that's what I, the way that I'm going to be doing it. So this was be this is my um, September monthly page. So I'm just trimming all the pages in September, and then I'll do my October, and then I follow the same process to get to my um, November monthly and my December monthly. Um, so yeah, so this is the kind of the last little bit that I need to do to get this as a planner as opposed to a notebook. And then I build my spreads on the blank pages. I don't draw anything out. Um, if you've seen any of my plan with me's, you know that that's the way that I do it. Um, so I just use the blank pages and then build create my spread from there. And someone um, in the comments suggested about doing a horizontal plan with me. So creating a horizontal spread for some of these weeks so I think I might do that in the holidays because I less I'm less likely to need a vertical spread um when I get to work I kind of love having my day lined out for me vertically so I might try that soon maybe even my next plan with me so yeah because I have that flexibility I have no specific um outline there's some my hair frizzy hair in the shot there sorry about that I think you've seen quite a few of my body parts to be honest um, so yeah, so that's my um, October monthly tab there and then I follow the same process and work out where my November should be as well. So I'm going to leave you with that and um, yeah, enjoy this trimming of paper. I will talk about this November one though because it's right at the top. I couldn't work out where it needs to go so I used the first square 
And I hope that means that I can get another six or so pads down. So there's November. And then going through the months, the, the week, sorry, to find December. I don't do anything further than December. Um, I think I just put the monthly tab down. I didn't even trim the November weeks. Um, and yeah, I just do the December tab and then I go through a walkthrough um, and I'll explain why I stop in December um, in, the, in the actual real life voice. So I'll leave you here um, and go back to live, Katie. Okay, so um, I've set up now until the end of the year. Um, I just have to trim the pages in October and November and then December. And then what I think I want to do is have some sort of refresh in the centre when we start in January. Um, so, yeah, so I want to add kind of that in um, when we get towards like the end of this year into this year, I think. Um, so, yeah, so like a month. So in October, I think it was a five week month, was from this page 50 until page 61, so like 10 pages. Um, and so we've got from December, it was on 75 to 186. So it's possible I could get all of um, 2021 in here. Um, so... Yeah, but I'm going to leave that until the um, start of next year um, to see how I get on and how chunky this thing's going to get with all the stickers added and everything. So we'll, we'll see. But yeah, um, so this is how I've converted my uh, bullet journal, a big notebook, into a planner. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please just drop them in the comments below. I'll try and get to them. And um, I hope this has inspired you to kind of think about your next planner and if you do do anything similar um you know please just tag me on instagram i'd love to see what you guys have come up with and your creativity and yeah um i uh, use that um at kt 17 plans um to tag me in any of those and go and give me a follow over there if you want as well uh, to see how this comes out um throughout the course of this the end of this year and into next year so yeah thank you for watching um, I'm going to tidy up now. We've got loads of like bits of paper on the side here and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.